Even though the Minnesota Fighting Vikings seem set on allowing uh, former first-round pick Garrett Bradbury to try and seal the deal as a starting center, they didn't draft anyone, they didn't bring any uh, big-time free agents aside from Chris Reed and Jesse Davis, uh, it, it does. the Vikings do need to keep their options open at the pivot position, whether it's maybe signing J.C. Treader a little bit later on or... Or they need to closely monitor the situation between the Arizona Cardinals and a former All-Pro center Rodney Hudson. Because under the radar, it's been a really interesting standoff situation where neither side has said anything. But Rodney Hudson has been away from uh, OTAs. He skipped mandatory minicamp. The Cardinals didn't wish him a happy birthday last week on, on the Twitter machine, which is just... Stick it in your eye, man. That, that, that's what happens. Now, this doesn't seem like a retirement. I, I don't think that Rodney Hudson is going to retire, but it does seem like a contract standoff because the Cardinals need to scrape together every single penny uh, to pay Kyler, uh, who's also in a contract kerfuffle. But uh, I mean, the fact that they didn't wish him a happy birthday, the fact that they didn't include him on their 60 days to kick off uh, promotion, which featured the entire offensive line except for one guy. Hmm, something's missing there. It's kind of weird, right? And uh, the uh, beat writer uh, for uh, the Cardinals, Chuck Harris, he tweeted out, follow up on Rodney Hudson's status, asked if he was done in Arizona and was told, believe so. So, again, it doesn't say retired. It doesn't mean that he's done with football. It just means that he, if he's done in Arizona. Now, the Vikings... Again, need to monitor this situation. Let's talk about Rodney Hudson today. Background, 33 years young. Just turned 33 last week. Happy birthday, Rodney. Yeah, that's right. I'll wish you a happy birthday. Cardinals, whatever. Uh, second round pick in 2011 by the Chiefs coming out of Florida State. Uh, spent time with the Raiders and Cardinals. Uh, three-time Pro Bowler. Second team All-Pro in 2019, only three seasons ago. And traditionally, he's been one of the best centers in the National Football League throughout his career, especially in pass blocking, which... I need help with. That's right. Uh, also, he's a great leader. Uh, he's uh, been a team captain. He is fantastic at calling protections, etc. Uh, so don't forget those soft skills when it comes to the center position. And everyone's going to point out that his PFF grades were down last year. In fact, they were down in 2020, his final year with the Raiders. Hence why the Raiders basically traded him to Arizona for nothing. Because the, the Raiders, remember, were going to cut him. And then the, they traded him to the Cardinals for like a seventh round pick or something like that. But uh, beyond just the PFF grades, eyeball test, he looked pretty good last year. We watched it handful of Cardinals games and he only allowed five pressures and one sack uh, and a uh, 0.6% pressure rate and uh, five pressures one sack that's what Bradbury gives up on a drive so that's important to note uh, did miss some time last year with some rib and shoulder issues and played down the stretch that way and in fact actually played pretty damn well uh, considering uh, those ailments uh, and contract wise he is due a $10.85 million base salary with $8.04 million dead. Uh, the Cardinals would save around $4.6 million in cap space if they cut him. Uh, this is, well, actually, they save a little bit more since it's post June 1st, but e either way, they'd save uh, a certain amount of cap space. Uh, but looking at this situation, I would not trade for him. I wouldn't do that because then you'd inherit his contract uh, that, that the Cardinals did uh, from the Raiders. So wouldn't want to do that. But if and when they do cut him, Yum, yum time. Yum, yum time. And the Vikings have around $7.5 million in effective cap space after they sign uh, the, the remaining two draft picks. But uh, you're looking at the depth chart. I mean, Bradbury, I understand that they're trying to give him every single opportunity. And the reports are that he looked pretty good uh, in OTAs and mandatory minicamp. But, of course, there's no contact, so it's really hard to judge what's going on in the trenches. Even though Bradbury's put on weight, all this stuff, yada, yada. Uh, we, we've heard this story before. And if you're going to be all in on the season, which the Vikings seem to be, be all in. right? And, uh, in fact, uh, Rodney Hudson at 33 even though he had injury issues last year with the rib and shoulders, I will take that over Treader at 31, uh, given his knee, uh, foot, and ankle uh, issues as well. I mean, he didn't even practice last year. So this is certainly interesting. Uh, Money-wise, I don't know, would you throw $5 bucks a year at Rodney Hudson or $4 million and some incentives or maybe even less than some incentives, playing time incentives, uh, uh, team production incentives? Yes. I, I certainly would. I think the Vikings could and should uh, keep these options open. So, again, it's something worth monitoring. I'm sure that the rest of the league is also watching this as well. Uh, I do think that Hudson and Arizona, it, again, it's not really a retirement thing uh, because generally with retirements, I mean, the player doesn't hold the team hostage. And uh, I think it does come down to the contract. I think that Arizona wants him to take less money so that they can pay Kyler. Uh, I think they want to hang on to him. Uh, I think Rodney Hudson doesn't want to do that. So that's why they're at that impasse. I, I don't think the player would just string the team along on the fact that the Cardinals didn't really have any contingency plans for Hudson. Uh, and then 
skip mandatory minicamp and then just say deuces right before training camp. I don't think that he would do that. I think that he still wants to play. I think that he can still play at a high level. I think that he would be better uh, than some of the options that the Vikings currently have at center, potentially. Uh, and I think that just got to watch. Uh, again, no trade. Not even giving up a conditional seventh round pick because even though that doesn't matter, we're not picking up that contract. But if and when Arizona lets him go, hey, Rodney, want to go try and win a ring? Stay in the NFC? You, you, know, you know how this division is? That's right, baby. Or conferences? Close enough. Uh, but anyways, your thoughts on our thoughts. Rodney Hudson and the Cardinals. Vikings need to watch it. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes once worth the work. Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.